All right, we finally, finally have confirmed release dates for the two Yeezy 350s and they are going to be releasing this month. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys how to get these pairs of shoes when they do release, making sure you have all the information, where to go when they release, and how to enter all of these damn raffles. I'm gonna be giving you all of the best places to go to make sure that you have the best chances when these actually do drop. And of course, we'll kind of get in to see how they're performing on the aftermarket as well. So uh, let's get into it. Now, first of all, Yeezy release dates have been all over the place. Honestly, we have had conflicting information on both of these shoes for quite a while now. I just think the information on Yeezys has kind of changed. It used to be we would know sometimes months in advance from a release exactly when it was going to release, the stock numbers, where to get it, and everything. And now it's kind of choppy and changey and it's like almost Nobody's really a 100% sure. Either way, we are 100% sure now because Adidas has them up and there's plenty of raffles, so we're gonna go through everything right now. So first of all, both of these are releasing on February the 20th. They both retail for 180 pounds here in the UK or $220 out in the US. Now, the very, very important thing with these two shoes is they are going to be region exclusive, like I kind of thought. However, it's not as bad as I thought. So normally we get a region exclusive pack that consists of three different Yeezys and normally they're kind of spread out. Now, now we're only getting two and it's kind of like more countries have been included into each individual shoe. Now how that kind of contributes to how difficult these are going to be, I mean we're only going to figure that out once they actually drop. So the Ash Blue colorway is going to be releasing in North America, Mexico and South Africa. The Ash Stone is going to be releasing in the EU, Asia and Australia. Honestly both colorways are pretty solid. I'm liking the whole new faded look that's coming with these 350s. Now the Ash Blue is kind of looking like an Israfil 2.0 so I'm, I'm kind of glad that here in the EU we're gonna get the stone now speaking of the ash stone that one is something that is a little bit different that specific color option I know it's similar to other Yeezys the whole tan thing but it is something that is at least doesn't really clearly resemble another Yeezy 350 it's kind of like this darkish brown color again all over faded and it has kind of like this I would say reddish orange stripe that goes across the side again if I had a choice of both of these I'm definitely taking the ash stone. All right, so where to get these? Well, the first place and kind of the best place to go is always going to be Adidas. The thing is, is Adidas has got multiple places you can actually get these on depending on what region you're in. So you've got the Adidas splash page or web page, you have the Adidas app, and you now have the Adidas confirmed app. Now again, these are all region based, so it really just depends how they're going to be releasing these in your region. America has the confirmed app, other regions have the Adidas app, and then other regions have the Adidas web page. Now the easiest way to figure out how they're going to release in your region is to go to adidas.com slash Yeezy and the website will tell you exactly where they're going to release, whether it's going to be a splash page, the confirmed app, or the irregular Adidas app. If it's a splash page for your region, just make sure you know what time it's going to release. Again, the web page will tell you what time it is going to be releasing. And I would just make sure you get there like 20, 30 minutes before the actual release to make sure you're set up and you're ready for when it takes you into the waiting room. And then when that happens, you just kind of wait around until it gives you the opportunity, if it does, to pick a size and then check out. And if it's the Adidas app, just make sure you download the app and you are actually signed up as a member and again, depending on what region you're in, the specific colorway that is available to you will be on the front, the kind of the first item that is on the app, which then you just click participate, choose your size, enter out all of your details, like your address, your card information, and then pretty much you just sit back, you're entered into the raffle. And then when drawing starts on February the 27th, they will pick winners and hopefully you get them. Same thing for the confirmed app, just make sure you have it downloaded, entered all of your details, make sure you're signed up and you're ready to go, and then just sit back and wait for that notification. Of course, along with Adidas, the US specifically, you guys are going to have Yeezy Supply as you always do. Just remember Yeezy Supply is US only. It doesn't do any international shipping. So just make sure if you're going for Yeezy Supply, it is a waiting room and that you are located in the US. Now, of course, along with Adidas and Yeezy Supply, there is going to be plenty of other places to grab this pair of shoes there. Even raffles have started going up now. So of course I will have as many raffles as I can find down in the description below. My advice 
is always to enter as many as possible. Right now, we don't have any information on stock. Again, we're just kind of going off of how Yeezys have been releasing in the past. However, Yeezy has been throwing us some curveballs recently. So, I mean, if you do really want this shoe, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Personally, I'm going to be entering as many raffles as possible because, of course, I do really want this pair of shoes. And I suggest if you do want them, you do the same. And again, I'll link as many as I can find down in the description below. All right, so what I'm going to do now is head over to StockX and let's see how these are performing on the aftermarket. So let's say you take an L and you're kind of looking, are these going to be expensive or not? Well, well, let's have a look. All right, so I'm over here on StockX for the Ash Stone colorway. I don't believe that StockX has the Ash Blue listed up just yet. However, if that updates, again, I'll add this into the video or I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But right now we do have the Ash Stone colorway listed up. It really depends on how limited this pair is. It's really going to determine the actual resale value. Now, 330 pounds a week out from release of this pair of shoes, I guess is fairly normal for a Yeezy 350. I mean, it just depends how many early pairs we've seen. And I gotta say, I have not seen at least any reviews or early reviews on this pair of Ash Stone Yeezy 350s. On the flip though, I have seen a lot of early pairs for the Yeezy 350 Ash Blue. So I don't know whether that one's more available and this one's more limited. We're just gonna have to wait and see. So if you take a look at the bids over here, this is what people are ready to pay right now. You can see it kind of ranges from like 170 pounds up to like 215. So it's definitely not that high. Right, because the Ash Blue is not on StockX, let's take a look at GOAT. So these are some of the prices you can expect to pay ranging from about, I guess, well, I mean, those smaller sizes, $800 seems a bit ridiculous, but I mean, we're pretty much looking at three to $400, depending on what size you want. So if it's like a normal Yeezy release, you can expect, I guess, the normal sizes or the bigger sizes to kind of sit at about retail with these smaller sizes doing best. But hey, that pretty much wraps it up. I'm pretty much giving you all of the best ways to grab yourself either one of these pairs. Make sure you are ready. February the 27th. Again, let me know if you have any questions about this. Leave it down in the comment section. Make sure to enter those raffles in the description. And uh, hey, thank you so much for coming through, hanging out with me for yet again another video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I will catch you guys all in the next one, but until then.